COVID-19, we've built in some specific ways to protect our staff. One way is to uh, stay social distancing within the restaurant. It's fairly easy to do because we have a large space and there's only four of us right now at the most. Anytime we even think about it, we ha use hand sanitizer. Anytime we use a payment system, use the phone, bring food out to people, wiping doors constantly, both to protect people that come and to protect our staff. We luckily started doing deliveries before the apocalypse, as I call it, and so we just amped up our delivery system, that's all we have. And so we had to minimize our staff. I've been able to keep three people working full time, but we have a lot of people that we don't see anymore. So we have delivery and curbside, which is a chance for us to at least see some of our favorite people and, and um, wave to them from a six foot social distance. So that's, that's our new normal. We have really enjoyed working with other businesses in town because I think we're all in this together. We try to order from Clacco and have Clacco come and bring here. We order from um, Sweet Amelia's and advertise their cupcakes and give her a way to sell products for people when she's not open. We try to order takeout for our staff from other businesses and just not just stress that we're trying to make it, but everyone's trying to make it. We've been able to amp up our menu, try to change different delivery options so that there's different food going to kind of add some variety for what people might like. We had trivia going on before it happened, so we added trivia as a Facebook Live just to connect with people. We've also been throwing in some really fun things like our box wine pillow class and just different things to make people laugh and connect with each other. I think that Unwind Up North was lucky in a way because we're small and being small put us in a position to have one or two staff working and still keep our business operational. The thing that we're most proud of is being able to keep three people working without having to go on unemployment. And another thing that I'm the most proud of is keeping the trivia going, doing the online classes, trying to make a way for people to look at our Facebook and laugh during a time when there's not a lot to laugh about. And then I loved making the hearts that night when it was really slow and trying not to just think about us, trying to think about all the other businesses in town that are in exactly the same place as us. So whenever we get too serious, we stop and realize that we're part of a bigger, a bigger thing and together we're all gonna make it. I think we're all working on overcoming it on a daily basis. We're trying to keep a Facebook presence up, trying to support other businesses. I think Grand Rapids has done a fantastic job. If there's any way that you can still help, it's go to the businesses that are open, try to buy food to take home, buy gift certificates for the future. If your favorite business or other businesses aren't open, I bet they're selling gift certificates. So just reaching out to the people that are trying, knowing that we're all small and we're all in this together.